Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hawk. Today I'd like to talk about five major types of food that you should be avoiding, whether you're healthy or you struggling any disease. You know that American National Health Institute declared that 75% of our disease coming from wrong food, that means wrong dietary lifestyle. Number one food you should be avoiding is the processed food. We all agree with it, but a lot of time we don't know what is the processed food. We might think that, oh, I'm eating great food. Think about we eat cake, pastries, cereal, sandwich, burger, pizza all the time. These are completely processed food. We love barbecue. The meat we eat, clearly, these are carcinogens. HCA, HSCA. Two major carcinogens develop when you burn the meat. Not only fry and burn, but the process with a systematic process such as making a wheat into white wheat, making a packaged food. Those all processed food are harmful for the body. So you gotta be avoiding those processed food because body doesn't know how to digest them. Body has a natural digestion system for, to the natural food ingredient. But the food we process, it's not natural. And because body cannot digest it, it develops so much inflammation that causing chronic disease like a diabetes and heart disease and many other problems. Number two should be avoiding is acidic food. Acidic food, I mean that a lot of time we eat food, only sandwich, burger, pizza, rice and bread and meat and fish and eggs. You see, 100% acidic. What I mean that you have to have an alkaline portion, 80% and 20% acidic, that's okay. If you eat 100% acidic, that is a problem. If you eat 20% acidic, all animal fat are acidic, legumes and lentils are acidic, chickpeas is acidic. Acidic food you can have but 20%. 80% has to be alkaline to be healthy. But if you struggle with any major disease, you definitely have 90%. In some cases, 100% for certain times such as uh, um, some autoimmune disease. But always choose lots of vegetables. And research shows that plant-based food, which have a lot of micronutrient, that micronutrient is the one lower the inflammation, refill the body mineral imbalances, and also help the brain function. It uh, improve the your cardiovascular system. It improve the metabolism, improve the elimination system, and of course the digestion as well. Number three is a farm raised food. Farm raised food is great a lot of time if you put right ingredient, but according to National Research Foundation, they show that 80% of our antibiotic production is going to the animal. Which animal? Chicken, cow, and all kind of uh, lamb and goat. Those animals are fed with a lot of steroid. Because they are fed steroid, they become sick. They need to get antibiotic to survive. Those antibiotic fed cow giving the milk, milk is antibiotic. So milk, meat, it could be chicken meat, all of these come into our body when you eat them. Those antibiotics killing our good bacteria. We end up having gut issue. We are suffering with so many autoimmune disease and heart issue and long, long run cancer. Diabetes is very common nowadays. So you have to get a pure naturally grown fish like wild caught fish and grass fed meat and naturally grown chicken with a free range organic egg number four is sugar coated food everywhere if you go to kruger uh, forget about walmart if you go to even costco a lot of food are sugar coated you see a lot of time healthy drinks they put a lot of sugar so you gotta be careful when you go outside even home if you need sugar get a brown sugar or coconut sugar or you can have any types of honey but it has to be good honey right so those are the food you need and whenever you're struggling with any types of um, inflammation remember sugar need to be avoided even healthy sugar need to be avoided too and number five is wheat made product you might think that oh i like um, brown wheat or red wheat or you know enshrine wheat all wheat currently in the market are genetically modified remember dr norman buleg he got nobel prize for modifying and make the wheat very tastier yummier as well as more growth 
they grow quickly if lots of wheat is a financially viable and good for farmer good for economy but not good for health research shows that not only celiac disease most of the autoimmune disease and the major metabolic conditions coming from these wheat made products so you gotta be careful when eating wheat you're causing the disease and if you're struggling you definitely stop wheat for long term so if you can avoid these five types of food it's good for you you can get rid of all of your health issue or body can be regenerated from sick to health healthy to healthier thank you so much that's all for today i'll talk to you guys again in the next video thank you